Hey, one right, one right. One right. Fort Benning leadership had the opportunity to see a new type of target in action as the robotic human type target was evaluated for possible inclusion in Army training. A robotic human type target is a live fire capable autonomous robot that you can use for marksmanship and also enhance uh, really your, it's a tool for the Army learning model and 21st soldier century competencies. Unlike current targets, these robots have more characteristics of an actual human, like their appearance and maneuverability giving soldiers more realistic training than ever. With this, you're actually engaging something that can change and move on the stop of the dime, change its speed, move faster, it can stop, turn around. So it's definitely, it can go behind a wall as, as opposed to having a timed thing where you know what you're going to be shooting and where, how fast it's going to be moving. This kind of adds an entirely new realism to it. The way that movers are shot now is just on a track system and you can pretty much play the game, you can play the course, you know where they're going to pop up, you know where they're going to end. When you put them out on a range and they can move on their own, A, you're reducing manpower to run it because they're all robotic and B, you're also, it's more unpredictable and you can run different types of scenarios. Scenarios for the GPS and Bluetooth capable targets can be either pre-programmed with respect to route, pace and reaction to being hit or they can even be set to random function. With ammunition capable of passing through these targets, soldiers are forced to consider collateral damage, adding realism to training. This capability is a way to enhance the Army learning model. It, it's a way to visually uh, mitigate risk uh, by using a capability and being able to get guys to really think. Point seven left. We don't want soldiers to engage their first realistic moving target in combat. As Fort Benning officials evaluate this capability for possible inclusion into sniper training, individual marksmanship and live fire doctrine, this new type of target is seen as a way to bridge the gap between home station preparation and downrange conditions. Hit. Oh, he turned on you. 1.5 left. The likelihood that they're going to have to engage a moving target is very high. So it really should be a fundamental skill. We just kind of have to bridge the gap between what we consider basic rifle marksmanship and moving target marksmanship with our appropriate weapon systems. And I think this is a is type of capability that may be able to do that. Melissa Bell, Fort Benning TV.